<laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. Um, welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Sex Stationery. So, so casual. casual. Yeah. I hope you all have had a wonderful week. As you can see, it's me and Neil again. Yeah. And um, the reason for that is because Jacob has been a little bit under the weather. Right, so we're quarantining. We're quarant quarantining with each <laughs> other in the studio which for this video. And then we're masking up with the rest of the team. Just we don't want to get everyone sick. That's yeah. why. Um, and, you know, because Neil loves to be on Catching Up. He loves to be in front of a camera, as you all know. <laughs> um, I hope you all are great and had a wonderful week and weekend. I actually got away this past weekend. Yeah. It was my first time. I took a little girls trip for one of my friends who's getting married, one of my best friends right. getting married. And um, we went away. We went we went to Arizona actually and it was my very first time um, away from my two babies of Yoseka and Jacob. And um, I had a little bit of separation anxiety, a little bit of a rough time there, but um, was it fun? yeah, it was fun. It was <laughs> a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was great. It was really cool. Like I've never been in the desert. Uh, you know, it's the like, first time there. Yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop like looking at every single cactus and just being like, that's a huge cactus. <laughs> they were so big. And they're like four or five hundred years old. They're really, oh, really? really cool. Yes. Oh, it takes cool. a long time for them to get really big because they grow super slowly. Oh. So for one to be that big, it's super old and they're like protected by the state of Arizona, wow. which I thought was really cool too. I went <laughs> horseback riding, just like all these things um, a city girl dreams of doing. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. How was That's your fun. weekend? Uh, I spent a lot of time with Jacob. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I actually spent less time at the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, because I was away, so you had to stay at home with Jacob a little bit yeah. more, right? It was fun. Uh, he had a lot of sugar from the photos <laughs> that I saw. <laughs> a lot more snacks. Yeah, a lot more snacks than mom usually yeah, loves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, it was a good time. Yeah, we went to a lot more places than we usually do. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Something else that our team has been working on is just like our releases. So um, we released our pre-orders for our pens, yeah. but um, usually what we do is release the pens along with like a whole group of items that our team has been working on. Right. And so actually those, uh, the pens got released first as a pre-order and now we're just like, it's kind of like almost, it, it's more, like we just get to focus all of our energy on these other projects that we're working on, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah. And so really everyone like May and Ashley and Alex and Austin, like everyone has like their thing that they're working on. Right. And I'm so excited because we're sending these off to like the printers and the, right. the makers. Um, and they'll be here in, in a few weeks, ready, ready to be um, shared with all of you all. Yeah, some, some things are here in a few weeks. Some yeah. things are gonna take a little longer. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you wanna tell what's coming? No. no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's keep a secret. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. Um, but we did like the first release was Authen's sticker, <laughs> yeah. and then his stamps just got here, and they yeah. look really good. They look great. They're yeah. like really professionally great. done. Yeah. I yeah. love the logo that he designed. Yeah. Um, it looks great. So yeah. we're excited to share that with all of you very soon, probably this week, right? Yeah. Okay. So look forward to all of those Yoseka special projects coming out very soon and over over the course of the next few months. Right. Um, other than that, well, we've been adding some new stationery here and there. So we actually have like this stack of notebooks over here. These are A5, like super thin, um, different style planners with like super colorful covers. And there's so many of them. There's yeah. so many different varieties. Amy added these, these and proceeded to convince like every single one on our team to get right. one like every single person and then the best part is that she follows up with you yeah, yeah she follows up she yeah. asks you she's like have you been writing in it yeah, yeah, yeah. are you using it today she's our planner police 
<laughs> Amy's our planner police. <laughs> so um, these are by Laconic, and you can see they're just like really thin, very colorful covers with um, almost like one format for like anything that you can think of. There's like, here's like a meeting one with like very interesting sort of formats. Um, this one is a to-do list one, which you can imagine is just sort of like a checklist. You have your date and then your thing to do and then all of these check boxes that you can tick off and even like progress. Oh, that's which cool. Which is kind of yeah. interesting. This is a spreadsheet one. So it's really just like, oh, this is actually my first time seeing this one. It's very cool. Like Excel spreadsheet. Excel spreadsheet. What would you use this for? You can, you can list out numbers and then you can add them together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know like, uh, what, like what you would do on the Excel spreadsheet. Oh my God. But on my... paper. Yeah. I don't know. This is like a daily. Here's a daily one with see um, things to do um, and then like a daily checklist and then I guess like a timeline yeah. for going down the page so it's like a, a one page a day then there's sort of like these like organizational ones this is like think and you it gives you like a little chart so you can draw diagrams and things like that yeah. there's a Gantt chart which often loves his Gantt charts so this might be a good one for often yeah. Um, here's my life. I think this one's really cool. So it has like um, a calendar and then there's also like, so it's almost like that, those back pages in the Hobonichi, but it's like a yeah. notebook full of those back pages. Like this is like, you can track your gifts received. Um, there's like a little index so you can see the different sections. Then there's giving gifts. Then there's like um, the to-do list, like another one of the to-do lists. And then this one is a recipe memo. I gotta love that. I love a recipe book. And then the back section is like favorites. This is almost like my 100, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so this is cool. Um, then of course there's a monthly, a weekly, um, and then this one is 100 days, which is just kind of tracking, tracking something over 100 days. So this uh, is good for like short term, short term goals, I think. Like if you're trying to say like, oh, I'm gonna work out for the next 100 days, just like starting small for goals. This might right. be like a good thing. So those are really cool, Laconic planners cool. Yeah. and notebooks. And then um, also by Laconic, they're, they're you know making these sort of um, book markers um, that also have very different like formats on them. So you get like a stack of book markers and what you're able to do, they, they come with like these index tab shapes. So you're meant to be able to put them in your book and have that tab stick out of the page. And they come in all of these different formats. So there's monthly schedule, meeting, reading, coordination, planning, weekly schedule, and then to-do lists. I think you can use that when you're reading the book too. It doesn't have to go with the planner. Mm. You can use it when you're using a book. Reading a book. Reading a book. Right. Right. Oh, well, there's like a reading one too, right? Yeah. Reading memo. Oh, so you can take notes. Like these would be like for reading, taking notes while you read and marking the page of like interesting quotes and things like that. Yeah, so Which I, think, I do. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a pretty, pretty clever idea. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. All right, so those are from Laconic. Also new, we have like some really cute new letter sets from Midori. Yeah. Um, we love Midori letter sets so much at Yoseka, like those animal sticker ones. Yeah. People love those. So these are die cut um, in the shape of some animals. This is um, a termudgeon or something. Ame told me. Ame told me the name of this. It's like the it's like the bird of Alaska. Um, and there's like a cat and this is a penguin or like a little puffin, so cute. Um, and then these are like customizable collage letter set so you use these stickers that come with each set and they're really pretty sort of like gold foil stickers um and you use these stickers to collage oh 
I oh. missed one. This is a little otter. You use these stickers to collage on your envelope or yeah. on your letter paper that it comes with. This is like a little sample that we've made. So these accents are all stickers that we added to personalize and decorate the envelope. And you would be able to do the same with the actual letter paper too. I will say that like you can mail these. It's a mailable size. Some of the letter sets are not mailable sizes, like the because the U.S. has different mailable dimensions. Oh. Um, these are mailable, and I've gotten lots of uh, letters from in these oh, because nice. they are mailable. <laughs> um, yeah, check with your post office to make yeah. sure things are mailable. Yeah. Um, that's a lesson that I learned when I mailed some things and they came right back to me. <laughs> they came right back. <laughs> it's like, wait, why? It was so sad. <laughs> um, okay, and then we also have some new notebooks. These are called Book Note. And book, note. book Note, and it's by Watanabe Binding. Yeah. Um, the green ones in front of me here, but um, they come in grid as you can see here, with OK Fool's paper. So it is fountain pen friendly OK Fool's paper. And then this one is blank. And it's like a cream colored paper, not like super white white. Um, and the cool thing about these, so they come in they come in grid and blank in A5 and B6. And the cool thing about these, the binding, is that they are made from stitched binding, sewn binding, and they're, they allow you to like fold your notebook back to the other side. It's like, it's like a very soft, sort of pliable binding. Yeah, not, not all notebooks allow you to do this. Yeah, especially yeah. when they're thicker like this. It's a notebook that I would say will stay in good condition in your backpack even after use because of its harder cover even though you do get the flexibility of being able to fold that back which is which is really cool okay um last but not least i'm so excited to announce that uh we actually added ame's stickers her yeah. vinyl stickers her clear vinyl stickers um these are some of them and we actually added them all to our website. And, you know, Ame has been sending us these for a long time, but I was uh, happy that she actually gave us permission to put them on our website and just share the love of Ame that we all have. So these are all illustrated by Ame, um, and they're all clear stickers. There's so many different designs. I'm just so kind many. of I'm just kind of laying them all out here. Um, I think some of them are beginning to sell out on our website, but don't worry because we will um, order more from Ame, which I'm really excited to do. I, I'm I'm happy to tell her that that you guys have been loving them. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be like so thrilled to hear that. Yeah. So I wanna I wanna end it there because that's the thing that I'm super happy about. Uh -huh. I feel like like, you know, we we have known Ame for so many years yeah. and she supported us. Yeah. And um, we can now really support her too by yeah. by offering all of these stickers in our store and just like sharing her artwork with yeah. with all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, um, as I was saying, we, Neil and I were both kind of like away this past weekend yeah. in store but i know that um a lot of you guys showed up to the second stationary swap so i do want to shout out all of you who came out again like i know my friend sandy came um sandy, yeah. yeah and then she, she got a pen she likes her amaero ink so yeah. I'm, I'm really happy sandy thank you for coming yeah. and everyone everyone who came i think like carol came i think camellia came um so lots of like really good friends at Yoseka. And if you are looking for a stationary community or like people who share this hobby of yours, please um, don't hesitate to join our next stationary swap, which we don't have a date yeah. for yet, but um, I'm, we will work with Christine to put one on the calendar. Yeah, of course. I think that's about it for this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. Um, hopefully, uh, Ashley will be back next week as Neil and I are all we're feeling much better. Um, yeah. So don't don't worry too much about us. And Jacob is like all better too. <laughs> Jacob is all better too. We're just yeah. 
being being safe and extra cautious for people um and ashley will be back next week but thank you so much for watching this episode of catching up with yoseka stationery and we'll see you very soon in the next one bye, bye.